Hey, what's up everyone? New video today on this diorama. It's a storefront uh, sidewalk road piece that I had commissioned from uh, V Rector over on Instagram. Uh, if I'm not pronouncing that right, I can actually just link his uh, info in the description below. But yeah, let's get into it. So I, I really do recommend people make their own dioramas. But it's actually really nice to get a diorama made so you don't have to worry about painting and designing and making up you know all the pieces so uh, I was pretty excited when I found V Rector over on Instagram um, great guy super awesome prices like this guy's prices are amazing and the details he put into this diorama is great and it's actually a really big piece uh, the base down here actually takes over my desk my desk isn't, isn't the biggest but you know it's still a really big piece and the building itself is really tall so it looks real nice, really nice details. And this, uh, the, I guess the road you would call it and the sidewalk are um, glued together. It's a different size foam right here. Real nice details on it. So he added that together and these two walls are actually magnetized. They're held up by magnets. So let me show you how that looks. So yeah, um, magnets are down here glued onto the bottom. There's one, two, three, four. On this side, there's one, two, three, and four on this corner right here. So each side has four and four, and two, three, yeah, one, two, three magnets holding this side. So all you do is just connect right here, and they connect together. So I'm super happy that, you know, I can tear it down and just keep it like in the closet so it doesn't take up too much space this uh canopy right here you just slide out with some dowel rods real cool he added lights down here um my nephew loves this thing so he was playing on, uh, around with the lights so the lights turned off on many of them because of over usage but each side had its own light as you can see, the nice um, paint detail on the bricks, the concrete or the grayish walls, really cool details. I'm super happy how this turned out. This was a first commission after a long time, so I'm beyond happy on how he designed it. And just with the size itself, it's super awesome. A uh, huge thing I did request was it's small details, like the stickers and the ads and all that. So he did an awesome job. You can see that lost dog, even with uh, ripped slips right there. Look at that, real cool. Looks like a nice bodega, nice like mom and pop shop in the city or something like that. Newports, open hours. That's really awesome. Nachos, Doritos, more new ports, jewels, you know, you can't smoke those anymore, or vape, your lungs will blow up now. <laughs> but yeah, super awesome details. As you can see, um, with this diorama, I just wanted a nice little street corner. And I could set up little scenes. Here's something quick with just Joker. You know, props really make a diorama pop uh, pop up more. Like, more details brings it to life. All these little props I got from Mexico. This was old um, McFarlane, The Walking Dead. Here's uh, Ninja Turtles, the NECA, the box set. This was a Gachapon piece from Japan. So, yeah, you could really uh, create some really imp impressive scenes just by mixing and matching props Speaking about props, uh, V Rector was kind enough to throw me some props in. Uh, right here is like a metal pipe, and it actually goes into the wall on this side, and you just press it in right here. So it looks like a pipe coming out, like water pipe or whatever kind of pipe. Um, right here is a drum barrel type thing. Real cool that he threw this in, just adds more to the scene. So I'll put that right there to the side. And 
this last one is a chain they threw in and it looks like the door's locked right here so you just put that right there and it looks like it's locked real cool so thank you for the extras so here's just a quick scene of like punisher chasing after a robber or something you can see that um pallet right here i made myself with coffee stirrers i have a tutorial on how you can do that in my channel and here's punisher in the back you know terminator walking behind him so yeah i mean really nice diorama super awesome with the little extras he threw in and i highly recommend you guys check them out so before i end the video here's a size comparison of different figures with the diorama uh right here we have the mezco punisher the two-pack alex ross i think that's his name i'm not sure he's from the black panther two-pack with uh killmonger uh spider-man some dogs here this was a uh, 3d printed custom made for one shot 3d print so check them out on instagram here's the dyer from mcflor uh mcfarland toys and the 1000 toys hellboy so yeah as you can see it's uh sizes up really nice so i hope you guys enjoyed this diorama showcase make sure to check out v rector toys on instagram hit him up um not sure if he has room for commissions right now but you never know so give it a shot and yeah uh time to go my dog took a crap <laughs> see you guys